Director, before I, I let you go and we see if there's a motion on your budget, um, does TBI use drone technology at all? Wait, so, so can you just describe a little bit about the situations where you would use a drone? Yeah, and absolutely. how many drones do you have? How are they uh, maintained? You know, it's something that has to be purchased again on a regular basis and is that a line item in, in your budget? Sure. Um, <coughs> uh, thank you, Chairman. Yes, we do uh, have drones. We use them uh, for a variety of things. We, we just actually had them up this week over in uh, uh, East Tennessee uh, assisting us in searching for, uh, for summer wells, uh, the missing child that's been missing for a while over there in the, in the mountain. Um, the technology on them is amazing. Uh, the, we, we just purchased these new drones. You have thermal uh, imaging on them as well? They do. Okay. They do, as well as uh, they have the capability as well uh, to, uh, to recognize specific colors. If we, you know, when you, you, you can put the, you can enter the information that you're looking for and, and they'll recognize it. And so we knew what color clothing uh, uh, the child was wearing. And so we put that in. And so it's, it's um, uh, the technology is there and, and does a great job. So that's, that's one use of it. We also have used them um, for our fire investigative uh, unit. So they'll, they'll send them up to map a fire scene, uh, which will help them to kind of see, again, looking at the, uh, the heat signatures of fire will help them determine where they need to go uh, to see where the origination, uh, the origination of a fire is and to determine if it was uh, intentionally set uh, through the rest of their investigative tactics. But, but that's, that's a, a game changer for us to be able to have something from the sky, map that scene, uh, find that, that heat source and be able to help them go directly to where they need to be to start their investigative effort. And so that's, that's a utilization of it. Um, we have uh, utilized it for searching for missing persons. We've utilized it for searching for uh, uh, or, or we have them available to search for fugitives uh, as well. If it's a if it's an area where we can't get a get our plane up uh, to be able to do so, we can we can use them for that. Um, and so there there are a number of investigative uses. We have a very clear uh, policy on how they can be used uh, so that there is no inappropriate use of that technology. Um, and and, and yes. that's one thing I was going to ask you uh, quickly about uh, about. Um, um, images that you may capture that weren't part of the mission that you were sending sending up for or what 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 happens those or what uh, what can you do with those images and what do you do with the footage when you get through with a, um, a fire scene or a crime scene what, what happens to the footage yeah so uh, the the, uh, the the footage that we capture uh, during the investigative process on the uh, on the crime scenes um, and the fire scenes uh, that footage is is maintained uh, and stored in our, our evidence database uh, so that we're able to, to obviously pull it up if we need it. Um, if it's not, if, if, it determine, if we determine that it's not evidentiary, okay. uh, then it is, uh, it is disposed of. Okay. It's, it's removed from the system. Okay. Okay. All right. Authorities are still searching for a young girl missing out of Hawkins County. Summer Wells disappeared in June 2021. She has since turned six years old. This week, search crews began combing through the Beach Creek area around her home. TBI Director David Rausch spoke before lawmakers about the case. He says search crews are now using upgraded aviation equipment for surveillance with thermal imaging. Typically, when we use this asset, we're either hunting for a missing child, uh, a missing adult, or a fugitive. Um, and so what it'll do, it, it will allow those on the ground to actually be able to see what the airplane sees. A $74,000 reward is being offered for information leading to summer. Anyone with credible information is asked to call the TBI.